The next question I wanted to ask is, where's hell? It's in the heart of the earth, right? Yeah, that's what I thought too. But then I learned some things about hell, Sheol, it has many names. What is this place? Well, we know that there's a lot of angels that are bound under chains of darkness. And we know that in Jude 1 verse 13, it says, Raging waves of the sea foaming out their own shame, wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. But hell's a real place. I'll tell you that. But it is a spiritual place. Franklin, uh, we see a long line couple of star-like things and a lot of things swimming in the foreground. Can you describe what you're seeing? Well, the long line is, uh, is a tether, um, and uh, there's a little bit of debris that uh, kind of flies with us, and uh, it's uh, illuminated by the sun at such low angles. So this is just a lot of stray light, and it's getting washed out uh, quickly, but uh, Claude is trying to do a, a quick, uh, good job here adjusting the cameras. Copy that. Our bodies stay on the earth, our flesh bodies, when we die. But our spirit goes to a different place. So, if hell was in the heart of the earth, earth is a physical and material place what is hell a spiritual place in the earth as for the beauty of his ornament he set it in majesty but they made the images of their abominations but they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein therefore have I set it far from them and I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil, and they shall pollute it, and they shall pollute it. My face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute my secret place, for the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. An end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And mine eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, An evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come, the end is come. It watcheth for thee, behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. The, the, the weird, weird part about it is space is so incredibly black, so incredibly dark. It's a bottomless pit of, of, of deep black. Almost so deep it almost has a texture when you look at it. It's wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Who is reserved the blackness of darkness forever?
for the blackness of the darkness forever. I believe he's clearly talking about it. Because in the Bible, there's a place where there's darkness forever. And it's called hell and the lake of fire. When you come in from a spacewalk, you're surrounded by the emptiness of space. It's sort of like the opposite of air. There's nothing there at all. When you quickly repressurize the hatch and you open up the hatch and you smell, what is that lingering smell from a place that used to be exposed to space? The smell in there is, is a little bit like that trace of a smell of gunpowder or burnt steak or sort of like brimstone, like a witch has just been there. Brimstone. Go to that metallic gunpowder fired smell. And I saw a deep abyss with columns of heavenly fire, and among them I saw columns of fire fall, which were beyond measure alike towards the height and towards the depth. And beyond that abyss I saw a place which had no firmament of the heaven above, and no firmly founded earth beneath it. There was no water upon it, and no birds but it was a waste and horrible place. I saw there seven stars, like great burning mountains, and to me, when I inquired regarding them, the angel said, This place is the end of heaven and earth. This has become a prison for the stars of the host of heaven. And the stars which roll over the fire are men which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord in the beginning of their rising because they did not come forth at their appointed times. And he was wroth with them, and bound them till the time when their guilt should be consummated, even for ten thousand years.